What's up guys, this is Rich from Clash with RLF and today I'm going to show you 2 3 stars attack by Deuce World. He is attacking a Town Hall 11 as a Town Hall 11 and he does a Hocus Pocus with 12 witches. Um, he starts out with a Queen Walk and this is the resource ring base that we're all so used to seeing now but it's getting a little less common now that people have figured out how to attack it. He takes down the multi inferno it didn't quite go down if you guys haven't figured out how to take out the multi inferno i did make a um, video you basically have to aim the lightning at the base so i usually zoom in but it's okay his infernal tower is pretty much damaged and um, his archer queen enemy archer queen is um, a third less health so there is a dragon in the clan castle he drops a golem and a giant, and the golem helps drop off, sets off um, giant bombs so he doesn't lose his witches. Then um, he drops a jump in the corner, so he doesn't have a um, earthquake spell anymore because he used most of his spells for trying to get rid of the multi inferno. Um, his archer queen is still alive. He uses the warden's ability because. He wants to keep his troops alive as it goes into the core. And unfortunately, the golem is circling around the base, but it is um, following the Barbarian King. Um, and hopefully, um, well, the Barbarian King now died. But the town hall goes down. The center is, all the infernos are down. The last expo, well, there's two expos, but the expo is going down. And with the witches, um, he should be able, and the wizard, he should be able to take down the last expo. And the queen is going outside the base, circling it, but you do need to circle it to um, get rid of the base. Unfortunately, the expo doesn't go down, but the archer queen is at full health. Um, I'm not sure if the healers are going to heal her now that the healers are sort of healing the warden, but it doesn't really matter. There's only. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 defenses left. And yeah, the Warden is being healed instead of the Archer Queen. Unfortunately, the Warden sits behind, so um, it's going to sort of affect her. But he has Witches and Wizards in the corner, um, and the Archer Queen goes down. But he has 1, 2, 3 Witches, and the Warden is at full health. He's not going to go down because... Uh, the warden healer walk now has taken over um, the wizard is going to help clear the surrounding base while the witches are trying to take down the last one to three defenses um, he does have to take down the grand warden who is 20 but you know they're not that strong so and they, they're only single target um, he drops a bomb to help the wizard in case the wizard doesn't hit any traps or giant bombs and the space is going down so with five seconds left it's only the army camp left and so many skeletons and the wizard um, he gets a perfect three star um, against their number one the second attack is a more triangular base it sort of reminds me of a baseball field he drops an earthquake and then hopefully he'll get the Infernal Tower to go down. Yes. So the Infernal Tower goes down. He has 14 witches again and 8 wizards. He's going to drop his golem. He has 2 golems. Um, he has to drop the wall breaker and sort of clear out the path so all his witches and um, troops don't go to the side. Um, fortunately, there's not a whole lot of defensive buildings on the side. so. However, right there, as you saw, some of the witches were going to all try to go to this corner, but they didn't. Um, it's really hard to direct the witches. You really want to clear all the outside debris first. But when you bring so many witches and just two of them go out, it's good. You, it's good to use the warden's ability while all your troops are being attacked at the core. 
and um, we'll see the single inferno is still alive and the clan castle troop is still there he it's gonna go down under the rage um, everything goes down it's such a bloodshed there you can't even tell what is going on he drops a jump to help his troops get out of that corner to go towards the center of the field and hopefully um, they are going to start working on the eagle artillery um, that's going to go down by the archer tower and the witches and now the archer queen can't come out because almost everything is going to be out of range so I hate to see her get stuck inside because um, she's so slow at walls the expo is going to go down and really the space is kind of pretty much going to be going down um, the archer queen is still at full health hasn't even used her royal cloak ability yet and now there's only two archer towers and a wizard tower left he's going to have to pop her ability now um, right at the nick of time and now he's going to um, she's going to be working on the wall but fortunately she's sort of distracted by the skeletons and the archers and now she's going to go down um, take her out archer queen I mean yep and she does so now just with the elixir storage elixir um, gold drill and the builder's hut perfect three stars so perfect war for two swirls it's awesome it's it's amazing he takes 14 which is very dark elixir heavy and two golems one in the clan castle and so if you see these kind of bases um, these are two great ways to attack it I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you do please remember to like subscribe and comment below and as always I really do appreciate you following me my videos and hope to see you